chain material or oh, that one. <laughs> okay google turn the light on Jackie you yeah, beautiful there's your clothes Ray Ray Come on in lobby Come on, Jackie. Twenty five is nice. dreams <laughs> what'd you dream about puppies <laughs> we want a puppy don't we I think we're gonna get one very soon boom she a devil she a bad little bee she a rebel here you go baby you can go chill cat okay all right come on Jackie how do you have? Alright. Hey then we have to go in a minute, don't worry about it. Does that hurt? No. What do you think? Beautiful. You think boom. She double, she a little bit, she's a rubber. Alright. You gotta go do your teeth and we gotta get you some socks and shoes. Head up to the meadow. <laughs> Got the mud again. <laughs> Meow. Where's Jack? Excuse all the dishes. I need to unload the dishwasher and restock it. Um, big stuff to do. But when this kettle stops boiling, I'll talk. Moving around is helping my leg a bit. I don't know if I said on here, but um, I'm going to start trying to go for walks. So Peter and I walked last night and um, we did like a hill and stuff. So like it was on an incline. Uh, it was, I was actually quite surprised at my fitness level because um, I've attempted that hill before and I was like crying and like climbing up the hill instead of walking because it was like that awful. But this time I just kind of just did it like my fitness level was pretty good and I think it's because I have a physical kind of job so I'm happy with that um but anyway I've got a couple of updates because obviously I haven't vlogged in a few weeks um so I wanted to just quickly talk about it um my depression went down 
downhill pretty quickly. Um, well, it was like slowly coming on for like a week, I could feel it, and then the next week I was like completely down, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, like what happened. I basically was just like struggling to like even get out of bed, like I, my house was such a mess and like Jesse was cleaning after work and getting what he could done, but he was obviously knackered from work as well, so it just ended up getting pretty messy. Um, which it happens all the time anyway because like we're both full time so we both get pretty busy and then the kids have school and stuff so we do, our house gets a mess all the time but this was like every dish in the house was dirty, every clothes in the house was dirty like it was um pretty full on but I ended up having my little breakdown like I feel like I hang for the actual snap part because then I start to feel better after that um, unfortunately it was to my boss, <laughs> he was just talking to me, he goes, you don't sound right, are you okay? And I was like, I'm fine, like that's just how I normally do. And then he was like, no, you gotta, you gotta talk about it, what's going on, and I just lost it. Um, it's weird because like, it's a mixture of work and my personal life that makes me lose it. Like, my work life would be fine if my home life wasn't so fucking crazy. And then like, my home life would be fine if my work life was, wasn't so crazy sometimes. Um, so just sometimes it gets a bit much. In this particular time at work, there's like a big changeover happening. So it's just like a lot of emails, a lot of things to organize, just a lot of things happening as well as my like monthly duties as well. Um, and then because I work full time, like I work during the day and then I also do some night cleaning and stuff. So it just was a lot, not to mention like um, I was like obviously depressed. So things were not doing great at home, my house was a mess, like my life just felt like a mess and I was just struggling. Um, I didn't vlog at all because I don't like to vlog when I'm like that, I don't want to show you like real life depression all that kind of shit, I'd rather show, I, I don't mind talking about it but I don't want to show it and I'd rather like just my channel be full of like all the happy memories and stuff so that when the kids look back on it um, they can see that but like I said I don't mind talking about it, I just don't want to show me rotting <laughs> because um, I just need to deal with it personally and whatever. But thankfully, Jesse is a massive support. Like, he literally pulls me up and is like, we can do this. Um, also, massive, massive thanks to Peter, Zach, and Nicole as well. Like, Zach and Peter are, like, on it. And, like, they like Peter came here and cleaned my house. Like, Zach is, like, here taking me out. Like, okay, let's go and get a frappe. Let's go for a walk. Let's go do something. And then Nicole... Is always messaging me making sure I'm okay and also she helps out a lot with Liz as well which is a big help with work because sometimes I feel like everything piles on top of me and I just literally lose it because it is hard working full-time like I do which I need to do because like we need to make money we need to live cost of living is ridiculous um, and I do love my job and whatnot and then also having Liz at home like even when I was studying Having Liz at home that whole time while I was studying, like, it's really hard to concentrate and really hard to get anything done when you've obviously got a little one with you. So I've struggled hardcore getting to this point, but, like, I wouldn't give up ever. It's just not something that I'd ever do. I'm just not ever going to give up, so I'm always just going to keep going. Um, but anyway, some of the things you missed, which I'll insert. I don't know what kind of vlogging I did before. I kind of lost it. I think I vlogged a little bit. Um... I'm just going to my Facebook because I do post everything on there as well as like a memory thing. Uh, we'll go from here. So first off, Caden graduated his GFG Foundations course, which was like really cool to be up there and watch him do that. I might just show you some photos this way because it'll be fun. So um, I wrote a post on Facebook. I'll read it to you. I was like, congratulations to our baby boy Caden on graduating his first year. Let me breathe. Of the GFG Foundation. We are so proud of you always pushing yourself to do great things with an extraordinary program. Oh, what an extraordinary program. I love seeing some of the next generation of amazing young people, such kind, caring, funny and respectful kids. Even though his anxiety got the better of him, he was unable to read his speech. He still got up with the group while they read theirs. He said next year he'll definitely read his speech because this course goes like every year up till year 10 or 11 or something. Um, he said next year he will definitely read a speech because it wasn't as bad as he thought it would be. Great learning uh, moment to show him that even though things can be daunting, we should still give them a go. I wanted to share his speech on this post because I thought it was amazing. 
Um, so he said, ladies and gentlemen, parents, teachers, and my fellow students, as we stand here at the end of our 10 week journey at the GFG Foundation, I'm filled with gratitude. These past 10 weeks have been a journey of learning, growth, and self-discovery. The experiences and lessons that we've gained have shaped, will shape our futures. Let's remember the values instilled in us and strive to make positive impacts in the world. Thank you to our dedicated teachers and supporters. The GFG Foundation has been an incredible stepping stone in our learning, in our educational journey. Um, I just thought that was really good. Um, like he's just such a good kid. Like I always um, tell the kids to always jump opportunities and he is one, my one kid that has really stuck by what I've said, which I'm happy about. He always signs up for things and tries things and he does have anxiety. Um, I'll talk about what we're doing for that soon, but he always pushes through and um, I'm happy about that. So they got two certificates for completing it. I can't remember what they were, but um, they also got this like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, this plaque thing. Hang on, I'll try to make the light go through. It might be better to see. Cut my face. <laughs> so that's really cool. Uh, he's really excited to be doing that every year, he thinks, so that'll be good. Um, so that was really, really great. We got to see like a bit of behind the scenes of what they've been doing. Like it was a presentation graduation night. It was really cool. Um, so that was cool. Um, I'll quickly rein in on his anxiety. So he's doing um, counselling through the school because I reached out to the school for some support because up until he's hit high school, we've been really good at managing his anxiety. Um, he does have a few down points but that's just part of it like I have constant up and downs with my anxiety and depression um but it was getting to a point where it was affecting his life his learning and stuff like that so we were like no we need to do something about this um so anyway I booked him in a doctor's appointment because he had a bit of a freak out with this GFG thing he was nervous about the speech and he was at school he was going to vomit he had a vomit bag he gave he had Panadol like he was just whatever um the school called me and I ended up talking to him and I was like look you can come home if you feel you, you, ugh, you feel you really need to, but I think you should stay there and like push through this. Like I think coming home every time you're not feeling the best because of your anxiety is not the answer. I think you need to push through and he agreed. Um, so anyway, we went to the doctor. She ended up prescribing him um, an, a medication for his anxiety and I cannot believe the difference that it's made in this kid. Um, I've, I got diagnosed with my anxiety and depression quite young. And I've gone through all different kinds of things and I was kind of a bit skeptical about the medication because like it didn't really work for me. Um, but then I realised he's a different person and it might work for him. So he's on Movox um, tablets which um, have some, uh, can have some side effects but he hasn't seemed to have any bad ones. Pretty much the first few days he took it he was like on cloud nine like he was so energised, so full of life, so happy. He was like making a amazing effort with his siblings like before that they were good good and bad like um he's always been good with the kids but like he was actually putting in a fair decent effort and to the point where jackson talked to us that night and he was like caden's my favorite sibling i love spending time with him it was so cute so it's made a massive difference in him um i'm hoping he can stay that way it takes a few weeks before it settles down um so we're just going to keep an eye on him and see how he goes so that is good um then i had an awful day where oh something else to do is that we're doing like a mental health plan so that way if he needs any stuff we'll do, we fill out this form mental health form and he um gets checked on pretty regular through the doctors and then if we need to go to like uh therapy and stuff like that it's a lot cheaper if he's on a mental health plan so we need to fill that form and put him book an appointment to put that in as well um jesse's only saying babysat for us while we went and done that which i'm really grateful for and she ended up like making some stuff with the kids and then she made like savory mints I think it's called I've never had it before she made that for me and she made honey carrots the way her ex-mother-in-law I think made them and they were so good um that was I put this post up saying it's been a rough week my house is a mess my washing pile is huge and I'm exhausted and then I thanked Jessie's Honey Sam for the help and stuff and it's just a picture of me on the floor eating this food because I was just gone I was so exhausted so that was um I think it was halfway through my problems next thing I did, I'm so annoyed that I didn't get to vlog all this stuff like um I was kind of losing my shit but I always push myself like so hard to make sure that I'm 100% with the kids and like Jesse and like family and friends and stuff um so Jackson's birthday was on the 10th of October on the 21st 1st of October he wanted to do a 
um, pool party with his friends. So we hired out a section of the Wilder Rec Center, but all the kids' pools were closed down and we were just like, what the fuck? They didn't call us or anything. It was so annoying. But we ended up, he ended up having a good time with his friends anyway, so we were just like, that's cool. Um, so I've just got a couple of pickies from that. So this is all of them. Caden had his friend's birthday party as well this day, so he didn't stay very long, but he wanted to be there for a bit. Me and Jackie boy. Jackie. Oh, Jackson with his cake. Jackson with his cake. And then his friends. Me and Nicole with the girls. <laughs> And yeah, he just had a really, really banging time. He loved it. Thank God all of his friends were really good swimmers because they ended up having to do the party in the big pool and it was really hectic because there was swimming lessons and like there was another party as well. So it was a lot, but it ended, ended up working out really good as well. And I think this was not the weekend, just gone the one before. Um, Jackson wanted to do a family donut date. So we popped down to Krispy Kreme, got donuts. Then we we're heading down to the beach and the kids were asking about the cemetery. So we popped in um, and like they just love going there. They must get good vibes there, I don't know. We popped in and seen, um, we went and found my grandma's brother, Tom. So we showed the kids that. And then Jesse's got his Nana and Popper in there. So we showed them that. Um, they just had a really good time um, visiting and whatever. So that old donut day, this is us heading down and in the cemetery. I think it's important for kids to learn about death and stuff. Oh, then we went to the pet shop. Um, I'm glad that they showed an interest because I'd rather them have knowledge about it because obviously we're going to lose people um, over the years. So I'd rather them have knowledge about it. And then five days ago, I was still kind of like not feeling the best. And Jackson, I came home from work and Jackson had set this up for me and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Um, he'd written, I love you, mum. It focuses. And he put a leaf on there and I had to lift the leaf and underneath the leaf was a love heart and it was just the cutest thing ever. Like, oh my god. Um, so cute. And then, after all that, it was Jesse's birthday. Um, so I made him a banana, salted caramel banana cake and it was so fucking good. It's definitely going to be added to my list of like top things. Um, so yeah, we didn't do too much crazy for his birthday. We did, I did a barbecue dinner um, and he took a cake to work and he had a cake at home and we just did family stuff. It was really cute. Um, then weekend just gone, we did like a little family movie night. We watched Five Nights at Freddy. Really good. I loved it a lot. Jackson said it's like his favorite movie ever. So that was us just, maybe I should click it. That was the kids all set up and we sat on the couch behind them, as you can see. And yeah, that's a little recap of the last couple of weeks. Obviously, I didn't get too much done in that time. And I think I did get a bit depressed because I wasn't vlogging because this is something I, do, I really do love doing. And the fact that my work and personal life completely pushed it out of the way, um, it kind of hurt. Like, I really enjoy capturing these memories and, like, it's annoying that I've missed all those important memories, like, truly. But anyway, we just got to keep on keeping on, keep moving on. Um, I am going to try and get a bit of work done this morning. And then I have to take Grandma and Grandma to an appointment. Then I'll do some more work. And then I have to actually go do cleaning work tonight as well. To check my work so I can see how many emails I've got. Um, let me Oh my god.
How was school? First day back for the week. Mm. Good. Jackie, how was school? Fine. Okay. Come on, Gandad. Hello. Yes? Kids have some things here. And hey, hey, hey. What did I leave? And then there's a flash drive as well. Oh, that's Jackson's. Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. Ha! Misty. Alright, it's been quite a few hours. I ended up going to work, so I've got all that done now. But yesterday I said to the kids I'd make them booge sandwiches um, for school, and I didn't. So I'm doing that now. So I've got some bacon going in. Um, and I've toasted some Turkish rolls. Added some cheese. Um, and then I'm going to add the bacon. I, I don't know if I'm going to add sauce. I might not this time. Sometimes I do. But yeah, this is their like, they love getting little booze rolls and I can do, I do like, I like to do bacon stuff. I've done chicken burgers. I've done like ham salami, all that kind of stuff. Thanks, Nick and Gabby. Are you going to have that one? Yeah. Halloween today. Um, we don't really have too much plan. We are going to do like a little trick or treat thing, but nothing crazy. Um, but we have these um, I don't um, think Halloween them. things. These are really cheap from Woolies. Um, so we're going to do them. But I realize we don't have any icing sugar, so I have to get that. Um, I do this one. You do hey. Okay. All right. First, we need some measuring cups. So we get this one in a bowl. Yeah, I want to give one a ball. We're going to put it in our aprons. Mommy! Oh! I can be, Mom. You can do Lulu. Mm -hmm. Make sure it goes in here. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, so you grab it by the handle and you bang it on your hand like this. Good job. Darling, we found love. Business. My own business, Mom. From our chicken's bar. Is it all done? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put the patty pans in. Oh dear. Alright, let's do that. I want to have some mom. You wanna put some in? Yeah. I'll put it in and then press it down. Okay. It, it's like right there. Mom, I'll find it. Okay. All down. 
Mom, Izzy, yeah, you're Yeah, yeah. You're that lollipop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, are you going to be home for lunch today? Yeah. Do you reckon you can pick me up some icing sugar on the way home? Just from Foodland or something? Yeah, it should be able to. Yeah, me and Liz made Halloween cakes, but um, we've got no icing sugar. Yeah. You know what I'm coming home, you made that nice roll. All right, Liz and I finished the cupcakes. They look pretty cute, I'll show you. Oh, my God. So this is how they turned out, super cute. Now, um, Ella and Anna were really excited for trick-or-treating this year, um, but they are not well, so they can't really go trick-or-treating. So I said that I would pop past um, because I was expecting them, of course, because they're excited about it. Um, for my kids, though, we just popped to a few people's house and they've got the baskets. Um, but I've got this like bowl of candy for if, in case we get trick or treaters. So I'll take that over and the girls can trick or treat. I've also got this. So yeah, I thought that'd be cute. I ordered Jesse a joint birthday and Christmas present this year because it's an expensive one. And it's something that he's really wanted and he's been talking about for ages. So I was like, um, instead of doing some and stuff, I just said to him, look, I want to get you this because um, I wasn't sure on like what size to get him and stuff like that because there's a few different ones. Um, and so we talked about it and then I finally got it in the mail today. So he wanted the MetaQuest. Mm -hmm. Watch out, Lizzie. Mom, I'm, I'm trying to show. I go in the MetaQuest 3. Oh my god, I literally for a second thought Mom, it said I'm 2. I was like, I ordered the wrong one. Mom, but, um,. Mom. Yeah, so it's his birthday and Christmas present. His birthday's already been. Um, I don't have it. You think it's cool? Do you think Dad will like it? Um, and then next is Christmas, so I'm just going to give it to him today, but because it's like just in between. But I'm going to wrap it in Christmas paper and write Merry Birthday and Happy Christmas on it because it's like both. That'll be funny. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Oh, what you got? Happy Halloween, you baby! Mm. Yeah. Lizzie made oh, them. Lovely. You should say no, I'm not. I'm not fair. Oh, I like to stop <laughs> bouncing around, bro. Does that hurt? See, oh no. <laughs> oh, we got the trick or treaters out tonight. <laughs> Oh. Hello. Hello. So what am I doing? So shut it and get them to say trick or treat and then open it. Okay. Ella, Don't get too much, okay? Just a couple. Was the thing on it's there which we had, uh, we had 15. What? Oh, yeah. That side of it. Did you put the poo out here like you said you were going? Huh? The poo? No, oh, that's, that's from, like, from my thing. What did you say? Trick or treat? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Give something good to eat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. You're disgusting. <laughs> did you get the razor blade? There's a kinder treat. in there. Treat or treat. Smell my feet. Kaden. Kaden!
I'm Kaden Jackson, Eliza. Yes, 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 kissy on the go. All right, um, I've just been out doing audits this morning, and now an apopter came up. <sighs> All right, I've been out and about, so I thought I'd show you what I got. We're doing schnitzel chips and salad for dinner, so I need a couple of schnitzel, so I'll grab those. Uh, we popped to the pet shop and they had this like energy block for chickens with dried mealworms. I don't really know what it does, but it looked cool, so I grabbed it. Lizzie picked girl dinner for breakfast, so she had donuts. Uh, my tomatoes aren't doing the best, like the plant looks not very healthy, so I grabbed this tomato plant stuff. Uh, this is from Audi, by the way. Uh, the donuts are from Coles. Then in Audi, they had these roast vegetable couscous I want to try. And we needed some shells. And I get the kids like one wrapping paper for their, all their presents um, at Christmas so they can just, it's easy for us to put their stuff in piles or whatever. So this year for Caden I got this one because it's purple, he loves purple. I got Jackie this one because it's got candy on it. And Eliza was with me and she picked a mini mouse wrapping paper. And then in Kmart um, they had this amazing bag. So I grabbed it, I'm loving lemons at the moment. Um, I got them from Coles as well, some ripples. I've been doing walks with Peter lately. Um, and it's been like kind of chilly at night time, so I grabbed a walking jumper because I like to put my hood on as well. This was on sale for like nine dollars and it's like really nice and soft. And then I got a new cast from Millie. And one of Eliza's um, Christmas presents that she actually picked out in her book was on sale from 115 down to like 89, I think it was. So I ended up grabbing that, which is in the booth, so she forgets about it because she was there when I bought it. How is it? He can't see me, guys. I can see you. <laughs> I got past you. What am I doing then? Give me the root finger. Two fingers. Like this now. Uh, like this. Wow. Do you want to see? Open your phone. Wow. Oh, I look beastly there. Mm, that's normal. <laughs> So you got mega chicken nuggy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I did Snitty's chips and oh salad. Look at that. Far out, my hair is puffy. Anyway, um, we've had dinner and stuff, and I've got work in an hour. But Peter and I have been trying to get some walks in, and I do some without her as well. But we're going to do a big walk tonight. Um, so I'm going to go pick her up. We're going to go do an hour of walking and then I'll go to work but I thought I'd bring you along for the walking so you can see, like have a look around at what I'm seeing when I'm walking. I don't know where we're going to go today. We went, we do the beach route which I've talked about in here before. We've done a wetlands route so I don't really know what we're going to do today. I want to, kind of want to do the beach again but I don't know because it's kind of cold and windy so it's like, I guess anywhere we go you're going to get smashed the fucking wind so I'm double rug the fuck up because I am freezing.
Gravy. You're not ready for the day. Do you want a jumper? Are you cold? Yeah. Skibbity do. Tired. Skibbity do. Pop, 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 pop. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Mum. I feel like my voice is deeper than Caden's. You reckon? Right, have a good day. Alright, I don't start work until. I think like two ish today because I have night work on. Um, so I'm gonna spend the morning, slash, a little bit of afternoon, um, cleaning and doing a bunch of housework because I have not properly done a decent clean on my house in ages. And I've got the kids' clothes aren't hung up and put away, they're kind of just like, like, here's Eliza's just stashed there. So I need to do that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna pot around and get a few little things done because. It freaking is it, but Lizzie is not feeling good. You can tell she's a bit flat and... Do you want a pillow? Yeah. So I'm gonna... Her nose is a bit smart. She's got a little bit of a cough. Lift up, baby. So I'm gonna get her all good on the couch. So she can have a little girl relax. Mum, I don't want to Mama, you not sound well. I think she might be getting a little bit sick. You want medicine? You want to wait a little bit. We'll wait a little bit and see how you go. Heading into teenage territory. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Right, let's do this. What are you having? So to get free shipping, I had to add um, a couple more things in. So I got Jesse a couple of black and white socks, and I got myself white and grey. So they look pretty cute. Um, so I can't remember what ones I ordered. It should be written here somewhere. Oh, yep. So I ordered flare black leggings. My size is like a 14, and in etched, it's an extra large. So I grabbed an extra large, and then these are just. I don't know, coal leggings. Let's have a look here, look here. Ooh. Oh, these are the ones that have the, um, oh, these are fucking beautiful. Oh, <laughs> these are fucking beautiful. What is, oh, there's a band thing at the back. All right, well, it's got like this shape around the butt, which I think is really cute. I don't know if you'll be able to see, hang on. Like a love heart shape. It's got 
some weird details I didn't notice in the photos, like this unclippy thing. Anyways, um, so this one's got like a really mesh open area in the leg. So I'm hyped with those. I'll try them on and show you guys as well. But I was really excited for these because I've been looking at flare leggings for a while so I like the look of them. And I just haven't been able to commit to any. Oh, they look so cute. This one's got a zip at the back which is nice. Oh my god. I'm so fucking excited. Alright. I have to go shut the front door and then we get to trying them on. And it's like a nice mesh, it's not too sheer. That is pretty, oh my god. Oh my god, I fucking love these. They feel fucking beautiful, like butter. Yep. Your anniversary gift came. Oh. Are you ready? I what am. I haven't yeah. showed vlog yet. I don't know. What's this? A bill. A bill probably for you, beautiful. What is it? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> that is the lamest thing I've ever seen in my life. Cool though. It says happy second year anniversary and it's cotton bud. Oh, cotton How are you? That's lame, isn't it? Yeah. Um, here's. Uh, try and show you they're tiny. Oh, it's annoying. It was really annoying today. So yeah. basically, uh. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. The class hey, 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 hey. No, no, just talking. They're custom cotton bars that say happy second anniversary, Jesse. Yeah, you He's been asking me to make him cookies for school. And I. Uh, Put it off a couple of days because I was busy with work and stuff. But last night when I got home from work, I was like, I need to get this done. So I made the cookie dough last night, let it sit in the fridge overnight, and then cooked them up this morning. Um, so yeah. Fresh cookies for school. Who did? Alright, so for dinner tonight, I decided to do silver side. I've never done a silver side before. So I asked on Facebook, um, what people do just so I can mash a few things together. So I ended up doing, so I've got the water, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, celery, carrot, onion. I didn't have any fresh garlic, so I did some minced garlic, um, orange, some fresh squeezed orange juice, bay leaf, cloves, salt, pepper. I think that was everything. Um, so I'm going to let this slow cook for eight hours. Um, our neighbors bought a barbecue and the box came with this like cubby house so you'll open that colored in fold it inside out and then it like makes a cubby house so well, let's get into it Yeah. 
Let's have a look. Whoa! Hello, buddy. <laughs> and in my house. We're doing Lily's house. Yeah, 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 house. <laughs> She's so excited. Oh, yeah. Are you excited? Huh? We're, gonna, we're gonna build it in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Let's stand it up first. All right, ready? Carefully put them in the basket. Make sure they don't crack. You will gently put them in. Mom. Ready? Gentle. Yeah. Look how many you got today. I know it's death, mommy. That's all. All right, let's go take them inside and put them in the bowl. 